Now, on this video, gets back to that point, why do you not have to pull valve cores on the newer cars with R134 or R1234? So here's an example of your old R12 systems with our quarter inch fittings. And here's one installed and here's one that you can take out. So that is the mass diameter. The whole diameter there is what you have when you remove them. When you don't remove them, if you could see that little tiny opening there that you push down, right in the side, refrigerant goes to the left and the right on both sides and the refrigerant doesn't pass that rubber seal it comes out the bottom of the valve like a valve on a car and an engine a piston you see that opening up well if you actually look at it there's a stem inside there so the circumference is actually smaller than what you see coming out there let me zoom in on it let's go way in and let's see if we can actually look so basically you have a tube with a stem inside of it and there's almost no opening at all. Your opening is less than those openings on the, on the side right there. If you can see how that opens up, there's a stem in there even blocking more flow. So you have a stem, you have a hole, and you have a stem in the hole blocking. So you have almost no flow when you have a valve core in there. Now, let's go over to R134. Do you see the diameter? Here, 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 here's your low side guys. Here's your high side guys. Do you see that diameter? Now let's compare that to your old, this would be your HVAC. This is what you have on uh, your commercial and your residential in HVAC and old R12 vehicles. Do you see the difference in circumference? Look at that thing. You got about 10 times more diameter on there and about two to three times more diameter on the low side. Now let's look on the inside. When that ball gets pushed down on this type, it's the whole outer diameter that's allowing refrigerant goes, and it goes down really far. And the area where the refrigerant is that see that outer diameter, that whole outer diameter is your refrigerant flow. You see the difference? That's the difference. The whole inner diameter on this thing when it opens up when you push on it if i could get my hands working there in this see, see how that pushes down where that little gap protrudes the refrigerant hits against that and there's a stem inside restricting refrigerant that's what happens when you try to pull a vacuum through a quarter inch fitting but we don't use these in, anymore in automotive so we're using something with a hole this diameter instead of a little restricted thing like that or a little tiny little tiny thing like that and look at the size of these here's your low side here's your high side and do a comparison of what we have here I had some dude in HVAC I don't know who the dude was, but I won't uh, name who the HVAC dude was. Said, oh man, you're pulling without pulling the cores, man. I'm out of here. And uh, restriction. He has no idea because I know he was watching some really good videos by some really good instructors who are super educated, know a hundred times more than I do. But what they were talking about in their videos about restrictions, all based around this itty bitty little tiny hole and this little restriction not just gargantuan monster here that flows with this removed these flow more than with this removed that's how that works and you have two of them this is the size of the piston there this is the size of your opening and when you press down on it if I could do this with one hand while they hold the camera and it's too hard. I think I'm going to have to go like that. There you go. That is the opening. You see that? It's clear all the way down through, wide open. This is what happens when you push through these compared to this little guy. So that's a little education for 
some of the HVAC guys saying, hey, why don't you put a valve core removers on the cars? Because the cars have something that is so large that with the cores installed, it's still many times more flow rate with these than even with the core removed on one of these. And that's the difference between automotive and HVAC. Look at these monsters. These things are huge. Even the small ones on the low side are huge. So that's why you don't have to remove cores like you do. And, and you're talking only systems that are one ton, one and a half tons, two tons at the most. Compared to a residential unit that say the biggest is five tons and look at the size of that five ton coil and evaporator and maybe 25 feet or 100 feet of line set then compare that to a car you have many times more flow on a little tiny system on a car than you do on a big giant commercial or residential HVAC system with 25 to 50 or 100 feet of line set plus four ton five ton three ton coils so that's why when somebody makes a comment that you're not doing it right because you haven't removed the cores out of on a car is because what they don't know because all the videos that are based around HVAC are based around this little tiny guy right here not Joe Mama right here baby got back um, so that is the difference between automotive and commercial and HVAC course or the old style R12. Now, if I'm doing an old R12 car, I put my core remover on there and I remove the, the course. But if I'm doing 134, no need to. You got 10 times the flow than you do for one of these even when you remove the core. All right guys, I'll see you. Sorry about the noise out here. Got a hoopty going by or got their catalytic converter stolen. All right, see ya. Bye.